I moved over in 2020 um, from South Africa as an international student. I'm currently studying Bachelor of Education Primary. I'm going to be specialising in special needs education. The reason I came to Australia was specifically because my niece and nephew were quite young and they don't have any family here that can love them. So I decided I wanted to be an auntie while I was studying. I've always been interested in learning and the, the science of learning and I love sharing knowledge so I used to tutor privately just for fun. About 15 years ago I had a brain injury and I was left in a semi-vegetative state for about 18 months so I had to relearn to read and to write and to count. It took me many years of rehabilitation to become a functioning human being, if you want to say it that way. As I was able to start living a normal life again, I, I learned about neuroplasticity. During that time as well, I started working with children and I started just teaching them the principles of neuroplasticity and I just saw such an incredible change in their lives, in not only academically, but socially, emotionally, their ability to self-regulate, their ability to make friends and at that stage I decided I wanted to study teaching so that I could combine my passion for neuroplasticity with the, with the learning and teaching. So for me it is very much about giving children the skills to develop their own learning styles and to understand their learning styles and to find strategies to support that. When I'm with children I'm in my happy place. I think one of my strengths is that when I look at children I see infinite opportunity, infinite possibility, and I see the beauty in them. And I'm able to let them see that as well. Teaching children that it doesn't matter how hard things are, we can find strategies around them. And not letting obstacles become a mountain, we can overcome them. When I went to my first prac, it was during the COVID period. I had managed to, just the week before, literally get my first job working as an outside school hours care um, educator. I remember driving through to Two Rocks Primary, I live in Tapping, and my petrol light coming on and I had no money to, to put petrol in my car and I had no way of getting any money at that stage. One of the challenges that we do face as uh, pre-service teachers is when we go on PRAC, it's a, a few week period where we can't work and sometimes the, the implications on your on your budgets are felt for a long time. I think most students will be able to say that when they are working part-time while they're studying, it's usually casual work. So when you've got to cut your shifts because you've got to go on placement for a few weeks at a time or a four weeks or five weeks, six weeks, there's no guarantee that you've got your job when you come back. They'll just replace you with somebody else. And um, I know some of my, my, my fellow students have lost their jobs because they haven't been able to take shifts during their placements. Coming over as an international student is a challenge on its own because the costs of your education is significant. There was a time where I was working five different jobs. I'd some days work a 24 hour shift at one job and then come to class um, with maybe an hour or two sleep in between. And you know, I was doing that seven days a week for a, a long time. Besides the anxiety of, of what you're going into, the financial stress that it causes is huge. You don't know how you're going to put fuel in your car and you don't know how, how you're going to buy yourself food for, for lunch and things like that. There's other expenses that come besides the university fees that, that are rather difficult. I need to pay quite a bit of money for my glasses, so on average I need a new glasses probably every six months and at the moment my latest pairs cost me $1,300. So having something like a Future Teachers Fund which will provide students with the financial support to get through the, the, the final PRAC would be far greater impact than I think a person could understand. Having that financial support is going to make the world of difference for us because we can go and embrace the learning and use the opportunity to, to develop ourselves completely as, as teachers. It's going to take a lot of pressure off.